with all the news from WTCN-TV's expanded news-gathering facility. WTCN-TV, Channel 11. This is Channel 11 News at 10. one of the most simple songs ever written, and yet it stirs up some of the most complicated emotions among generations of Americans. For more than a hundred years, Taps has been the official song of the military funeral. The cry of the horn honors men and women who died in American conflicts. But where did it come from and why has it become a symbol for freedom? In tonight's Extra, Carol Evans' Boyd Hooper listens in. For all the ceremonies surrounding Memorial Day, Your left, right, left, colors so left, crisp, lines so straight, right, right, and uniforms so neatly left, pressed, left, hut, nothing grabs hold of the heart like a song. So simple. One horn, 24 notes with the power no symphony can rival. The best things are simple. Squad, catch, hunt. The very best. Present, harm. It is very touching to all of us. It is, it's cherished, actually. The Memorial Rifle Squad at Fort Snelling National Cemetery honors a fallen veteran with taps more than 2,000 times a year. Tears come to my eyes every time I hear it. I, it's a final salute that we can, final honor that we can give. Aim, fire. The jarring staccato of the rifle, followed by the calming embrace of the horn. Taps to me is, is not signaling the end, it's signaling a change from this life to another. And uh, where I believe you go after this is a much more wonderful place than where I'm at. So Taps is kind of like a going away, coming home song. Taps didn't start out as a funeral arrangement, but a going to bed song. A Civil War adaptation of a French bugle call known as Tattoo, revised by Union General Dan Butterfield as a lights out signal for his troops. According to uh, Oliver Wilcox Norton, who was Dan Butterfield's brigade bugler, that first night in August of 1862, he played it for his own brigade. The next night, all of the other brigade buglers came in and said, we want to learn that call and play it. They wrote the notes down, and the next evening they started to play it also. So it spread very fast through the Army of the Potomac. Two dozen notes arranged in such soulful formation the Army began requiring taps at every military funeral in 1891. A humble bugle call folded in with the memories. Lots of memories. And held dear. And it reminds me of him. The way Ben Holm once held his granddaughter Laura. Very strong man. Lots of confidence and walked high up. And that's what that song reminds me of. And so, this Memorial Day, a shared tradition continues. From town to town, across the land. What Dan Butterfield intended as a call for lights out has instead lit the fires of our emotions. It's freedom. It's uh, the United States. For such a simple little song, with such a gigantic meaning, there is nothing like that. If you'd like to learn more about the war that gave us taps, Historic Fort Snelling will be hosting its annual Civil War weekend, June 9th and 10th. You'll find more details by clicking on Featured Links 
at care11.com.